Scores of terrorists were killed in Damascus town as Iswab and Boko Haram clash in Bono State. It was gathered that the clash took place at Duji village in Moba in Damascus local government area of Bono State, five kilometers away from Difa region in Niger Republic. Dozens of fighters from Boko Haram terrorists, the Islamic State of West African Province Iswab, and the Jamaat as Sunna were killed during a clash among the terrorist group in Nigeria's Bono State. It was gathered that the clash took place at Duji village in Moba in Damascus local government area of the state. According to a counter-insurgency expert and security analyst in the lecture region, Zagazola Makama, the Bokara Bunduma led faction of Boko Haram terrorists armed with heavy weapons was the force to launch an attack on the rival extremist group in its hideout. It was gathered that period to the clash the Bakura faction had captured one Iswab fighter who escaped from their den but was recaptured along the way by the Budoma clan camp. The fighter was forced to accompany Bakura faction fighters to the Iswab hideout whereby a heavy gun battle ensued and lasted for more than two hours. The Boko Haram faction overpowered the Iswab group and killed scores of them while Boko Haram fighters lost one of eight fighters. Meanwhile, a Nigerian army captain has reportedly committed suicide in Akwaibom State, family suspect foul play. A relation of the deceased soldier told Sahara reporters on Sunday that the lifeless body of Captain Bazaar, who recently became a father, was found hanging from a tree in a bush on Saturday night. And forces Alexander Kalti Bazaar, a captain in the Nigerian army, has reportedly killed himself. The Nigerian soldier committed suicide in Uyo, the Akwaibom state capital. A relation of the deceased soldier told our correspondent on Sunday that the lifeless body of the captain who recently became a father was found hanging on a bush on Saturday night. The family source described his death as mysterious and suspicious, adding that the cause of death had been ascertained as he left no suicide note to either his wife, elder sister, or any other member of his family, according to his words. How can a captain in the Nigerian army hang himself with a mosquito net that he used to sleep? He didn't have any reason to kill himself. Did he kill somebody? No. So why would he just kill himself? He lost his tent mate under mysterious circumstance when he was in Yobe. He got married in 2017 and he has only one child, a boy, the saw said. He further stated that the Nigerian Army headquarters said an investigation to determine the cause of his death has begun, according to his words. We lost this young man, my brother-in-law, Captain Alphonsus Alexander Katibasa, last night. He committed suicide in Uyo, Akwaibom State. But the army headquarters is investigating the real cause of his death. They claim his body was found hanging in the bush. No note was given to either his wife or any member of his family. The family is not aware that he left any note behind, the family source for that stated. However, a Fulani leader have boasted that he will end kidnapping in two months if the federal government will support him. A leader of Kotal Hall Lesde 
a Fulani Progressive and Unity Group, Malam Aliyu Yusman, has promised to bring to an end all the activities of kidnapping, banditry and castle roasting being carried out by Fulani young men across the country. According to Yusman, he has the will and the power to end all criminal activities perpetrated by some Fulanis if the federal government will support him for the just cause. He said as a Fulani man, he knows all the secrets of the Fulani kidnappers, the bandits and other Fulani criminals. He knows their antics and the tactics that they use in fighting and kidnapping people and it is just in his fingertips to dislodge them without the use of the military or police force. Yusman reinstated his assurance, fishing out the back eggs among the Fulanese, using his wealth of experience as a Fulani leader, herdsman, and knows the kidnappers' modi operandi are. He profiled provision of schools and improving their socio-economic lifestyle by making them relevant in all aspects of life as some of the solutions of ending kidnapping activities. Yusman said Fulani people are law-abiding citizens by nature if government can have a constant link or be licensed with their community head leaders, no one will see any back eggs among them. According to him, one of the ways to tackle the menace of kidnapping and banditry is government to forcefully enroll their children in schools. Yusman revealed that illiteracy is one of the major causes of these kidnapping activities by Fulanis. Research conducted by many has shown that most of the time Fulanis are used as instruments to commit crime and that Fulanis are equipped with some of the most dangerous weapons to attack their victims. He further stated that for government to control the influence of Fulanis who are not Nigerians, a proper registration and data captured through the National Identification Agency like NIMC, INEC, NPC and others should record all those Fulanese in their areas of settlement. Yusma who is an indigenous of Mubi North local government area of Adamawa Northern Senatorial Zone and aspired to be a senator under the All Progressive Congress APC said his political will is to use the group to further unite both farmers and herders to live in peace through an enlightenment program, according to his words. We know most of these boys committing the crime, we know their parents and the communities they are coming from or residing. Once a Fulani man is caught in the act of kidnapping, it is a matter of sitting down with their parents, call the man involved, I want him to stop. That is end of it. It is unfortunate over the years, Fulani groups like Meeti Allah has turned to be a political group which has been politicized. The group is not solving the root cause of why Fulanis are found in kidnapping activities. If government can take a stock of every Fulani man residing in any ward, butchers of every local government, if there is skill acquisition, empowerment and capital for them to start business, kidnapping will automatically end. All of the books I have written and the research I have conducted, I found out that it is only this formula that will end the problem of insecurity challenges in the name of kidnapping or bandit activities. If these things can be done, I assure you of peace in all parts of the country and you will not hear of any kidnapping. It is always dangerous if a Fulani man no longer has cows and other livestock he lives in. We only need government cooperation and if they can give us the needed support, there won't be these reckless killings and attacks. We know how to talk and convince these our Fulani boys and we know how to stop them from committing crime. Yusman further stated.